Okay, I thought a few of you might like to see how I take the honey out of my flow frame. I've just done a, a hive inspection. See, I've got my smoker going. And that is just so that I can make sure <clears throat> that the frames are more than 80% capped, meaning the moisture content is low enough for it not to ferment in the bottles. So, here's my flow frame, hive. I take the front off. I've discovered that frames one and six are more than 80%. This one looks like it's got more in it, but that's because I um, extracted that one the other day and they're sort of, for some reason, filling it from the outside. But anyway, these two are the ones that I could take if I wish to, but I'm only gonna take this one because I want this one to fill up a little bit more. This one is definitely more than 80% cap there. So we'll take out the little bung at the bottom and insert the tube. And look, I've come up with this fantastic device. So everything's sealed from atmosphere. None of the smells of the honey can escape into the atmosphere. And that means the bees don't take any interest in it whatsoever. I only crack the hive a quarter at a time. So that's part of it. I have to do it a couple of times because these frames now are a couple of years old and they've got quite a bit of propolis on them. But I'm just doing, uh, just keep moving it from side to side to raise that little top of the frame. And then shortly, we'll start seeing honey. As a matter of fact, you can see it dripping in there. And here it comes. I'll move my smoker around here. It's making it look a bit... Here it comes down here and soon to be delivered into that demijohn. I anticipate getting about four pints, half a gallon from one frame. I've had no problems with rapeseed, um, honey from a flow hive. My theory is that the, the hive is kept to its temperature. I think it's 35 degrees and that enables the flow, flow of honey out of the uh, flow frames, even if it is um, rapeseed. Granted, once I've bottled it and it sits around for about a week, it starts to granulate. But so far, I haven't had a problem with rapeseed oil honey at all. Hope that's of interest to you.